used to get big fishes. And now it's very rare. I mean, there were so many fish that we used to get a piece of wire and use it as a hook. That's how many fish there were around. And now, you know, you struggle just to get something. So how long have you been fishing? Uh, like I said before, like since I could walk. So about almost about 18 years, 19 years. It's like you can't catch anything really at all. You have to come on certain days and everything else. And um, you can catch like a multiple species of fish too. And now it's just like a certain species. You know, you can't you know, like certain ones you can't catch. Them. If they were to establish uh, marine reserves off the coast of uh, Southern California, mm. would you be supportive of that? Oh yes. Yes. A favor de la creación de áreas marinas protegidas. Es muy bueno, no solo para mí, para los demás y los que vendrán creciendo siempre y cuando que se cuide todo esto, porque si se abandona, se abandona, entonces los niños que van creciendo no van a tener la oportunidad que nosotros. Entonces, entonces apoyando la creación de las reservas marinas. Entonces, ¿consideras que las áreas marinas protegidas es una muy buena opción para, para crearlas en el sur de California? Pues yo considero que sí, porque antes en el pasado se pescaban pescaban más grandes, de diferentes, diferentes especies, y ahora está como chiquito y no se puede ya ver un pez. ¿no? Pero yo creo que sí, porque en el futuro, aquí la familia pueden ir tranquilos, recrearse, pescar, pasar la isla. Yo soy de Puerto Rico, ya ya se han creado varias, <ríe> se han creado ya varias playas aseguradas y, y es bueno para el snorking and crear new species of fish, langosta and all that. Do you think MPAs are good ideas? Yeah, most definitely. My son or daughter actually come down here and be like, and not have to hear stories of, oh, you know, what kind of fish is that? I'm like, I haven't seen one of those in like four or five years. And it used to be like, every day, he used to catch them.